Hello everybody, uh, so my name is Ziska and today I will show you uh, the latest build of Super Toaster X as I comment uh, the latest version of the game. Uh, so first of all, uh, when you launch the game you will be taken to the title screen which has uh, been under quite a few uh, changes lately. Uh, so right now you have three options as opposed to the previous uh, versions which had way too many uh, options available uh, the first one being Hell Dryer, the second one being Slime and the last one being you know, Exit to Leave the Game uh, the Hell Dryer is the one of the codes for the game and the Slime is uh, another code for the game so uh, for the purpose of this uh, presentation video I'm gonna go for the Slime uh, since that's the enemy I wanna fight Okay, uh, so I'm gonna resize the screen a little bit. Oops, can I? It doesn't seem like I can. Okay, uh, so basically, uh, this is your character on the left. Uh, that's Pan, your character. Um, on the right there uh, is the slime. Uh, so basically, uh, in order to start the fight, you have to run into the slime. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you see the fight has just started. Uh, as you can see there, on the left and on the right, uh, you have the energy bar of both the fan and of the enemy. Uh, whenever an enemy attacks, he's going to identify his attack first. So you can see here on the upper right, uh, this is the icon of the enemy right there. When he reaches enough energy, he's going to choose this attack, or this one. In this case, the fight uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and attack. So by pressing E or Q, uh, you can trigger uh, the attack cross, which gives you the choice of various defenses or uh, offense or options. So I'm gonna go try to kill myself. So this is he. Uh, see, the green circle means that you have the right answer. Every time you have a right answer, it boosts your uh, battle score right here in the middle. Uh, and this turn increases uh, the impact of your uh, ability. You see, I've healed myself, and now I can heal. Yeah, I heal myself by using this ability. So I'm gonna heal myself again since I'm pretty uh, hurt. Now, of course, uh, game, as far as the game is concerned, we're still tweaking things, so basically, uh, energy won't retard that fast. It's just for the purpose of showing off uh, what the game is all about. Here, I'm healing myself again, uh, so I'm not going to go ahead and attack here. So, by pressing Q, uh, you bring up the attack cross, while pressing E, you bring up the uh, defense cross. I'm going to go with the. Uh, I can choose the same tower. The laser cannon, the whip, or the punch. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do the punch. So you press once to select your attack, and you press once again to um, confirm your selection. Okay, so you can see right under the uh, card, there's an hourglass there. This tells you how much time you have uh, to uh, put in your attack. So of course I've seen those before, so it's pretty easy, but let's say I wait and I don't have enough time to write the attack is, then it's an automatic wrong. Uh, so otherwise you can just write your answer here. So you, as you can see this version is quite different from the previous version. So unfortunately I tried to punch the slime uh, as it was defending itself with the spike shield, so I took damage instead of causing some. So I'm going to try again. Okay. Uh, so basically, yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, time to go attack right away. Use the laser beam this time. So basically this is kind of like the hiragana, so this is the, the base, kind of sort of like the alphabet so to speak, of, um, of the language. So you see I beat my enemy here. Uh, now it was pretty easy to beat because it's the first enemy of the game, but uh, normally it would probably take, uh, you know, 
more attacks you would get rid of with the enemies. Uh, the harder enemies would certainly uh, require more hits to be killed. Alright, so that's it. I just wanted to show and explain a little bit what the game was all about. Uh, hopefully it gives you a better idea.